Hey guys, so to improve dramatically your render times and the usage of your VRAM, I have to show you, um, created here a little scene. It's uh, not so important how it looks, but just a few rocks on the ground and you see those few objects taking already 3.6 uh, gigabyte of VRAM. And why I'm doing this video is because I saw that in my students of my coaching programs and generally beginners are doing that. Those assets are from, uh, yeah, from mega scans. And oftentimes when you download textures, you get them, for example, in 8K. Okay. So I have here already a few resized, but if we go to this material, uh, just of this rock here, you see that, um, yeah, the albedo, the roughness and the normal, all of them are the 8K textures. But the thing is, I see that so often, but literally you in 99.999% you never ever need 8K textures because you will see in a second and now I will show you how to resize them very fast and easy. Like 1K, 2K will be absolutely enough if it's kind of super, I don't know, something super close up, then you can, can go to maybe 4K or something. But look, just this texture, if we, if we take it here, this one, it takes 25 megabytes, you know? And if you here take, for example, the 4K already, so I've resized it already, I will show you in a second how, it's just two megabytes, it's less than one tenth. And if we use this texture 4K, you will see there is zero percent difference, you know? But it's, you see already, 3.4. So if I go back and reload, so I don't know what I just did, but now it's even less, even if it's uh, the 8K. But again, if it's, we take the 8K, so it's one 3.1 now. And if we take the 4K texture, you see it's 200, MB less and it's only one texture. Like if we change all of them and all of those others, we will, we will go like very, very low. So uh, let me show you how to resize them. The thing is you can just go if you are a Windows user here, uh, just check out Power Toys, Microsoft Power Toys and here install Power Toys. And when it's installed, you just go here to Power Toys. Then you have like this app here and you go to image resizer and just enable image resizer. And then what you have to do, very simple. Uh, okay, I have here already a few um, presets. So I have the presets for 4K, 2K, 1K and 500 uh, KB. And so you can add the size and you go to that size here and you call it here 1024. So it's a preset and you make it here 1024 and here 1024 and yeah, pixels and all that stuff. Yeah, that's fine. And then so easy when you download yeah an object and it has crazy 8K, 4K textures and all that stuff. What I firstly do is I put them just all 8K in one folder. And then I just select the albedo, the displacement, the, the roughness and the normal. So here with control click, all are selected and then just right click and bam, you can have here resize pictures. And then you get this little window and you can ignore everything and select your preset. And I will just scale them to 1K and resize. Then it takes, yeah, very quick. And then bam, you see you have all of them just perfectly automatically renamed and just with 1K. And if I bring all of those textures now to, to, to our thing here, so now we have, um, if we load this again, we have now 2.9. So those are all 8K textures. And if we, yeah, attach the displacement, the albedo, the roughness and the normal, bam, guys, you see, it's still looking almost exactly the same. Okay. This is now very big. So you see a little bit of a difference, but it's already so less. And especially if you, um, have this here, like this something in the background, you don't need so much uh, texture density, uh, like resolution and things which are like in the front could have a little bit more. So keep that in mind. And always when you download uh, textures, just create an 8K folder, put that in and then create 1K and 2K and just use the 1K or 2K texture and see if that looks good. If not, use 2K or 4K then. Because yeah, it will just make everything so much faster. You can especially when you create like big landscapes and all that stuff, it's um, yeah much better if you, you uh, use like very uh, small textures because your VRAM will also not fill up. Because just one more thing, because sometimes I, I see people, they make la la landscape with plants, you know, and, and, and they, they clone like hundreds of thousands of plants and they use 1K or 2K textures. It's like the graphic cards 
will fly to the moon with that, you know? And you don't need more than 200 or 500 KB for grass or I don't know, for some flowers in the background, you know? So keep that in mind. I hope it helped you. Leave a like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye.